Welcome back to TechS, it is Brandy's coming back to you guys today with a video on Shadow Play, which is a new add-on extension released in the 331 drivers from NVIDIA. Now essentially what this is, is a gameplay capturing software, and it's only, unfortunately it's only for the 6, uh, GDX 6 and 7 series, since they actually have a hardware H.264 encoder built onto the graphics cards. Now, uh, the good news is, is that if you can use this software, it is damn impressive. And today I'm going to be specifically comparing a 30 second clip of Shadow Play versus a 30 second clip of DX Tory. Now, the first thing to remember is it is uh, essentially it's an unfair comparison because one's only 720p and the other 1080p. But I want you guys to pay a particular attention to the smoothness of the gameplay footage. Um, you know, and also the file sizes. I'm going to say before we get into the gameplay footage, the file sizes are extremely small. And this is even at 1080p at 30 frames per second. The file sizes are just small and they're beautiful. Lagerith uh, was about three times bigger, and that was only half the quality at 720p. So at 1080p, six times the file sizes. This was the logarithmic uh, codec with DX Story. Anyway, let's jump into the gameplay footage, and after that, I'll will explain a little bit more about Shadow Play, and I'll talk about the benefits of it, and also the benefits, you know, there's still benefits to be had from using software like DX Story. Anyway, let's move on to the gameplay footage. He's gone. Good effects. Walking on one is visual friendly Centelli target. Spark 1-1. One, one. Target tally. Good effects. Target destroyed. Check on targets. Above radar is down. Changing! He's gone. Transitioning. So, there you have it. Hopefully you guys noticed the difference between the two gameplay footages. I certainly did. I thought the Shadow Play gameplay footage was a little bit smoother than the DX Tori footage. Now, also I will say that both of these were recorded at 30 frames per second, and they both, um, you know, since YouTube only allows a 30 FPS limit on their videos. Now, I will say that the limitations of Shadow Play is that it doesn't, um, at the moment, it doesn't allow you to record multiple audio uh, inputs at the same time. It also doesn't have the feature set that DX Tori currently has. But I will say the performance hit on both DX Tori and Shadow Play was next to nothing. I didn't notice it. They were both really good. They're both lightweight programs for recording gameplay. I will say that DX Tori does offer um, more options. I mean, you can mux audio, uh, which basically, you know, separate the audio from the video. So you've got a little bit more options there to edit things as well. So DX Tori still is a good program. But the biggest benefit of Shadow Play, let me get back to Shadow Play now, is that it's free, it's smoother, and the file sizes are literally a third. I think, no, if you comparing them quality, the same quality, the same quality, the file sizes are a sixth of the size. Um, both if both were ten at, at 1080p. So that's a really good thing for Shadow Play. It's really lightweight. It's really good for someone who maybe wants to get into um, recording gameplay footage and doesn't know if they like it or not. It's also really good for someone like me who records gameplay footage and then records audio after they record the gameplay footage. So this is going to be my new recording uh, program of choice now for recording gameplay footage for you guys. And also you'll be getting the gameplay footage in 1080p. So anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed this quick comparison. Obviously there's probably a few points that I did miss, some big points, so you guys can put them in the comments if you like. If you like this quick comparison, then please give it a thumbs up. And also I'll catch you guys soon. So sorry I haven't been giving you guys videos much. I've been, I came down with this really, really bad um, flu, so I've been pretty bed bound for the last few days. And anyway, I'll get you guys out some more videos very soon. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll catch you soon with another video. Peace out for now. Bye.